Hello everyone, I'm Peter Okibukola and uh, on behalf of the AUC Strategy Advisory Committee, STRAFCO, I welcome you to our institute as a virtual institute for capacity building in higher education, Big Bear. What are module one? Highly successful. Module two is about to begin. I would like to thank you for enrolling, of course, for free. You are not paying anything, but I'm going to gain a lot, a huge lot. So this video is to give you a guide into the sweet things that you are in for in module two on fundamentals, current practice, and the future of accreditation. There are 15 questions that we have said you will be asking. How do we know? Well, <laughs> we're just forecasting that you're going to ask those 15 questions based on our experience in module one. So let us see the 15 questions and our answers to them. I see you on the other side of the question and answer session. So let us see the 15 questions in the guide. You can see I've a little waterfall here to let you know that it's going to be cool, cool, cool uh, session, cool training. Now, the first question is, what are the objectives of the module? We have shared this with you before, but these are the 14 objectives, uh, not in any order. But the first one that you want to note is that at the end of this training, you will acquire a globally recognized certification level competencies as an accreditor. So you'll be a globally recognized accreditor. Uh, you'll be able to do all of these things later. You'll be able to conduct. Uh, we're going to let you conduct practical exercises. We, this will lead to your uh, improving your knowledge and skills about accreditation and all of this. And uh, uh, based on the, ex uh, on the experience that you will have gleaned from the training, you'll be able to rank faculties and universities based on accreditation results. And Last, definitely not the least, but it's very important, is you have to you'll be able to provide solutions to challenges to accreditation, including corruption and human and material capacity deficit. Question number two: Who are the facilitators? We have drawn them from all over the world. You can see Professor Jamil Salmi, who was head of higher education, teacher education of the World Bank. By the way, he's going to give us a keynote address. Dr. Douglas Blackstock head of quality assurance agency of the uk and you can see from philippines from botswana from uae south africa kames is the uh, uh, francophone area in west africa going also to central africa there are almost like uh, 19 countries covered so go to see accreditation in these countries ethiopia malawi japan yes we're going as far as japan and of course dr miriam sally who is our director of accreditation in nuc is one of uh, leading resource places. By the way, she, you know, she, 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 she has come down to she learning how to learn. She's also a participant in the in the training program. And they have Dr. Beldun Salio, Director of Academic Planning, who is also a participant, a juggernaut indeed. And then Peter Okibukola. Question number three: Who are the participants? We've talked about the facilitators. Who are those participating with you in this training? There are about 654 so far. We're thinking that we're hoping that by the time it starts on the 30th, we'll have about 700. So, our vice chancellors, director of quality assurance, staff of national quality assurance agencies from all over Africa, members of AUC accreditation panels who have shown interest in the training, and potential members of AUC accreditation panels who are full professors. So, those are the participants. Now, what are the major components of this training? We have the opening ceremony happening on the 30th of August. We have live lectures. You're going to enjoy them. Just one hour each on Mondays and Thursdays. We have weekly discussion for you. Just contribute at your confidence. This thing is not going to stress you. Uh, we have tests every Friday, which will cover the week's work. On Saturday, we have practical session for accreditation. This is also at your convenience. And of course, comprehensive examination. And you're going to do a project. And of course, those of us who have succeeded will participate in the virtual graduation ceremony. Question number five. Let's see now. Where is this institute? This institute is based in uh, at this site. Uh, let us visit it. Uh,
in an event you cannot recall the address url the web address all you need to do is just type a big bear that's it big bear virtual SEO for capacity building. so you can see it comes up really strong here so virtual SEO for capacity building so that is a site this is the school that you are going to be enjoying in between the 30th of august and the 21st of of october yeah so we've done with question number number five let's go on to question number six how do i log in to begin the training ah that one now easy part of it so let's go back to the school so this is how you log in uh this is the site you can see right up here login uh by the way let me show you yeah this these are members you can see them here i uh, don't know no, let's go to right these are members of this AUC strategy advisory committee that's hosting this that under the auspices you can see it, under the auspices of uh, uh where is it under the aus yeah here under the auspices of national investments commission strategy advisory committee so that, that that's the group so to log in just click on here and uh you know your username you can see see marshall uh, was a username that i had for module number one so assume I, I want to play a trick uh, to log into uh, this. You can see valid login. Please try again. So any person who has not been enrolled, you know, we had a three-step process. We asked accreditors and others to show interest. Yeah, some quite a lot showed interest. They will ask them to register. A number of them did not register, so they fell by the wayside. Then the third step is to get you a road, and those are the people that I enrolled. So let me uh, put in my correct credentials and uh, I'll get into the school. Yeah, so let me log in now. Okay, it, I've asked it to remember my username and my username, also my password. So that is it. So I click it here to log in. So I'm already logged in as a whoever <laughs> but as a as an admin but i can also log in as a student or oh, sorry you are no students you are participants you are too big professors are ah, vice chancellors anyway so this is the course big big courses for the mentors current developments and all i, I will come to it uh, in a minute as we progress or okay, maybe maybe let me just show you how the other thing looks like here so when you come to the site uh, you're going to have, for the first week, we are building up the uh, the components, you know, for the first week, the activities of the first week. So I have a short uh, welcome here. Hello, I am Peter Okibukola. Is that On so? On behalf of the NUC Strategy Advisory Committee, Strafcom, I welcome you to Module 2 of the Virtual Institute for Capacity Building in Higher Education. You surely enjoy the module. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so you have uh, all of this. The draft program is here. If you click on this, it will open and show you the program. Uh, let's see. Yeah, so that's that program, which I'm sure you have, uh, giving you details, day-by-day -day details of the activities for the period. Now, uh, a virtual library is going to come on here, a virtual uh, Liberia, Institute Liberia. Uh, Dr. Kambiemu is going to populate this in a little while. And then you can see from 3rd August to 5th September is a weekly thing. Monday is the opening ceremony. Uh, this is Nigeria time, which is GMT plus one. So our participants from Ghana, uh, that's GMT, you know, yours is going to start at, at uh, 1 o'clock, 1 to 2 p.m. Uh, Malawi, I think it's uh, GMT plus two. So you will just adjust like that. So this is the opening ceremony program. On Tuesday, the practical track video is on. Wednesday, this is discussion forum. It, the, 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 I'll come to all of this in a, in a, in a, in a minute. So that, that's what we have for uh, the first week. So Saturday is free, Sunday is free, and then Monday we come on again for week number two. Yeah, so question number six is done. How do I log in to begin the training? Oh, let me get back to the matter of uh, password. For some of you who are still using the system generated password, 
uh, because we do not ask that the system should force you to change the password. I will encourage that you do the following. You just go to this, uh, just click here where you have you, have, you, you logged in, and then you go to profile. Uh, when you go to profile, it gives you, you can up upgrade your user details here and all of this. And uh, let us see user details, edit profile. Let's go to edit profile. And uh, so you have new password. You can enter your new password here. And uh, when you now uh, uh, log in again, it will ask you for the new uh, password. I don't want to change my password, but for those of you who have the system generated password, that's a big base slash, uh, excuse me, uh, hashtag, whatever. So you may wish to change your password here and force it to happen. Question number seven, how do I participate in the live lectures? This is quite easy. We're going to send you a Zoom link at least two days before a lecture happens. So what you can do, you, uh, you log in on your phone or laptop or desktop, and you can join from anywhere. So don't let this scare you. You can be running a meeting and uh, just you know uh, escape uh, from the meeting for about an hour and uh, just log in because it's important that you attend the live lectures because questions for the weekly test will be based on the live lectures and also for the practical track. I'll talk about the practical track uh, during the course of this Q and A. That's question and answer. Even when you're on the road, you're in your car, you have been driven uh, about to when you are the driver yourself. Uh, don't uh, don't attempt. But if you have been driven, but if you have a driver. You'll see that the back there, I just activate and get the uh, hang of the lecture from your phone. We're moving on to question number eight. How do I participate in the discussion forum? Oh, discussion forum, you see, we're going to send you. The discussion forum is usually on a Wednesday. And it opens very early in the morning and closes late in the afternoon. So what we expect that you should do is that you will see the topic. So three days before the forum opens. Then what you need to do, just open a Word file and just type your contribution there. And so when the forum opens, you just copy and paste to the box that is provided. And please ensure that you do not exceed the maximum number of words. Let, let's look at the demo of what I've just described. Let us look at uh, the first discussion forum. Discussion forum number one, the topic is the process of accreditation would undergo dramatic changes in the coming decades. Discuss any two factors that will bring about these changes and explain the impact of such factors. Maximum 200 words. How do you know that's uh, 200 words or less? Okay, I'm going to show you. But you see, if you don't attend this lecture on the 30th of August, that lecture, the keynote address given by, to be given by Professor Jamie Sam. Uh, fundamentals and future directions of accreditation. When we'll be talking about these forces, you will just be groping in the dark and you may score you, you may score less than you would imagine that you would want to score. So how do you do this? So when uh, Professor Samuel had finished uh, his lecture, what you need to do, just start a word file and type your answers, type your answer, your contribution there. Uh, let me take uh, something from elsewhere and just paste it, paste it to the page. So look at the contents of this page. I assume this is your contribution. If you look at this, the, to know the number of words, if you come to the bottom part of this word uh, file, you see 95 of 95 words. So there are just 95 words here. Let me paste like this so assume this is your yeah assume this is a contribution so this is one 90 words uh let's play some more let's put this there 190 words okay this is 225 words so if you have something like this you will lose clear five marks we deduct five marks the, the your contribution is maximum 20 marks if you go one word outside 200 then you're going to lose five full marks. 
So my suggestion is that before you begin to cut, uh, paste to the to the box for the discussion forum, just look at the number of words, and I've told you how you can do that. So you come here, and you see this two two five. So if we if we yank off this here, this will be you can see this one ninety words, which is fine. Just add a few more words, and that's it. So this is how you contribute to the discussion forum. So shall we go to question number nine? Question number nine, how do I participate in the weekly tests? Now, the weekly tests are also easy. You'll be saying, you'll be, I think you'll be, uh, I can see you saying everything is easy. Yes, everything is easy and you will see when you, uh, you engage, will engage you in the course. So there'll be at, on Fridays, 30 very simple multiple choice questions. And we're going to give you generous time, 30 minutes. So the test will open on Fridays at 7 p.m. Nigeria time and close at 8 p.m. So within that time band, between 7 and 8 p.m., you are free to now just spend some 30 minutes uh, to uh, answer the 30 questions. When we change this time, though, uh, based on discussions that we're having with the uh, with uh, Strathcom, the leadership of uh, Strathcom. But question number 10. How do I participate in the Saturday practical sessions on accreditation? No, no hassle at all, no hassle. You can attend at your convenience. There will be a guide that you will have on Friday. So by Saturday, just at your, you can be attending a wedding ceremony or some other event and just join. But it's, it's a practical session. And you will have to show evidence of having done what you should do by the close of the day. Question 11. The end of course examination, yeah, that's uh, like a summary of it all. Uh, it will be, it will cover all you have learned the course. It will also be multiple choice, 100 items, you have 60 minutes to answer, and it will happen on October the 1st. You are to take the test. Also, at your convenience, question 12, what about the end of course project? Yes, there will be individual projects on a topic related to accreditation and we're going to give you a guide we're going to guide you all the way through midway during the course question number 13 or 15 we're almost there what's the difference between the conceptual track and the practical track okay let's get back to the program and you see what i mean this is the daily program this column this third column here this column here is the conceptual track column they are just live lectures and between 2 to 3 p.m. Nigeria time on the days, just Mondays and Thursdays. In fact, not all the Thursdays, only about two Thursdays are you engaged here. Now, the practical track, these are just video lessons that you can watch at your convenience. Like on the 30th of August, uh, yes, you're going to get this video of fundamentals for accreditation and all the things that you see on the right column here are the practical track lessons videos which you can watch at your convenience we have told you this course is not going to stress you you're just going to enjoy it all the way through so as i explained just now the conceptual track is life is synchronous okay let's see what synchronous means let's go to the dictionary so this is the the meaning of synchronous it is actually a, a, uh, some terminology used in open and distance learning systems. Synchronous means happening at the same time. So I'm doing it and you are seeing me or you're interacting with me uh, in uh, uh, life. So happening at the same time, that's the conceptual track. Asynchronous is uh, the, let's put, let's do it like this. Asynchronous, yes, that's it. Sending data in one direction. So I will only be presenting, or the people on that track will just present the videos, and at your convenience, you, uh, you engage the videos relating to or using an electronic communication method that sends data in one direction, one character at a time. So for question number 13, we'll run the conceptual track synchronously and the practical track asynchronously so you can download and watch videos at your convenience number 14 hey <laughs> what would i benefit from all these struggles yeah you go to any badge as a certified accreditor and that badge will enter open doors for you 
You've been high demand by quota assurance agencies to serve on accreditation panels in your country, Africa, and the rest of the world. Aha. So, question number 50, which is the last one. What is the end of course grading scheme? Now, let me show you some details and I'll come back to this. This is the scheme which uh, presents how you accumulate your scores. On Wednesday, discussion forum, maximum score 20. Uh, this score is based on original thought in the contribution to the topic of the discussion forum without plagiarism. We have a plagiarism checker. There are almost like uh, 150 people who will be grading your contributions. At least two people will grade, will have, will have trained them, and when they grade, the scores will not be too different. And we usually find about the mean, the average of the scores for the two people. So you are going to be getting scores every week for a discussion forum. And then the weekly test, 30. 30 items, 30 multiple choice questions, and 30 marks. So if you see your scores at every time that you do this thing, week by week, week by week. For the Saturday accreditation practicals, the first Saturday, we don't have anything free for you to be warming up. Then you're going to have, be contending with 50 marks on, on, on every Saturday. Discussion forum, 20 marks. Weekly test, 30 marks. So it goes on like that. You'll be accumulating marks. The project is 100 marks. Uh, the end of module comprehensive exams, as we said, 100 multiple choice test items, and that's 100 marks. So the total, total is 750. Oh, I can see some people saying that they are going to score 750 over 750. Congratulations. Congratulations. But why not? Uh, the grading system is as follows. 80% and above will end the distinction. 80% and above. And that would be 600 out of 750. You can easily make it. You can easily make it. And then credit 65 to 79 percent. That is the score 487 out of 750. You are going to get a credit. And these two we only we are the only two categories that will end the certified accreditor badge. So mind you, we've been told that if you get below credit. You will not get the certified accreditor badge. There are two certificates that you get. One is the certified accreditor badge, which you can only learn, earn with 65% and above. And then for, for the others, you only get a certificate without the badge, without the certified accreditor badge. So merit, pass, and anybody who scores less than 45% will have been deemed to not have passed. I don't want to use the word failure, not have passed. So uh, we are very transparent. We have seen it up front. And an event that uh, you feel that uh, you cannot make it, you are free to, because it's free. We are not charging you anything. You can just send in, throw in the towel, but it will be, I'll be unhappy. It will be a shame. A full professor in the Nigeria University system or a member of NUC, a staff of NUC or a national accreditation, a national uh, uh, quality assurance uh, running away from this beautiful uh, cake uh, won't be too good. So all of you put your hands on the plow and don't look back and you'll be successful. So back to question 15 which I just uh, explained in some detail. So these are the two categories and that's what we have. You need help? Oh, we are ready for you 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If it's administrative help, you find this here. Now, this will be on the on the institute site. So you go to the institute site, you are going to find this help desk. Just send them a message, email, or WhatsApp. If it's administrative, you get to Professor Moni Luolani, who is Deputy Vice Chancellor of Technology, Innovation, and Research of National Pool University of Nigeria. For technical support, Dr. Adewale Adishino. If you want inquiries, if you have inquiries to make, reach engine and these are the details. And for general inquiries and support, uh, please reach out to me. I will also advise that when you send any of these uh, officials a, a message, please uh, copy me. So welcome back from the question and answer session. You can see we're in for some fun time. Some exciting times lie ahead. So, I see you in class.